Today, we're making cheese. And you're probably wondering why the blender is behind me because, you know, cheese is usually made with a food processor. But we're using the blender today. So we'll start off with half a blender full of almonds, pre-soaked of course. Make sure you to soak them overnight because you ain't gonna get the best cheese unless you do that. Just a bit of dill as you can see here so it doesn't overpower. For those of you who like the little spice in your life, add a bit of cayenne. Of course, that's only optional. Add a tablespoon of nutritional yeast for that flavor, the beautiful cheesy flavor that you and I both love. Add some salt, as much as you like it because, you know, you don't really get that cheesy flavor unless it's a little bit salty as well. Add half a cup of lemon, just the juice, of course. And yes, I know it looks weird, but that's because it's frozen. Don't forget five tablespoons of coconut oil. Add three cloves of garlic, but only one if you just want to add to that cheesy taste. But three like me if you want to add a garlicky taste to your cheese, because I'm awesome and garlic is delicious. Add a quarter of an onion as well. Also, if you're like me, add half a cup of maple syrup for that sweet and salty flavor. Optional. It's only really for people who like the sweet and salty flavor as well as being Canadian, duh. Blend it for about five minutes and then add half a cup of apple cider vinegar. And of course, after blending it once more until smooth, voila, voila. You can keep it this way as a cheese sauce or as a dipping sauce, whatever you like, or you can choose to strain it using a cheesecloth or other alternatives such as a strainer like this one. Taste test time! Oh wow, that is really good. That is, that is amazing. Mm. Oh, so good. This is my first time making it. And pretty much the spices and the measurements kind of freestyled with that. But I'm glad I did. And it tastes fantastic. So here we have some of the cheese at the beginning stage in the squeeze bottle. Then we have the drained cheese. For this cheese, we are going to put half of it to bake in the oven at three 75 for an hour or so until it hardens enough to be sliceable. The rest of it will stay a raw, uh, hard type cheese. But of course, still just a little bit soft. You're going to put it on a tray just like this or however shape you want it. And voila! Time to bake. So, it didn't go exactly as planned, but that's after baking. You're supposed to put it in the fridge to cool down for a while and I'm guessing that's when it gets a hard cheesy like texture. So after cooling off, this is what the cheese looks like and it's, it's nice and hard and ready to slice. It's beautiful, isn't it? If you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a char. And be sure to check out my other channels, my comedy channel and my vlog channel. My comedy channel for more laughs Wednesdays and Thursdays, and my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. Love you guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.